Hello, I'm Jahan, one of the creators of Althea. I'm going to show you a little hardware demo today of our um, incentivized mesh network in action on some actual hardware. And uh, these are Raspberry Pis. Um, as these boot up, I'll tell you a little bit about what we're building. Althea is what we call an incentivized mesh protocol. It's software designed to run on routers, allowing them to pay each other in cryptocurrency for routing internet packets. This will let anyone set up networking hardware and sell bandwidth to the people around them. Our protocols let this hardware self-organize into a sort of decentralized ISP, where each piece of hardware earns money proportional to its contribution to the network. There's no ISP lock-in. Routers automatically send packets along the cheapest and best route available, switching providers second by second. We're trying to create a world where you can just load your device up with blockchain tokens and pay for the best available internet access in your area without worrying about contracts or anything. Anyway, these Raspberry Pis are running our software and setting traffic around. We are using Raspberry Pis as a development platform. The software will actually run on anything from a home Wi-Fi router to big high bandwidth antennas on the side of buildings to servers in data centers with a direct connection to the internet backbone. So each of these uh, Raspberry Pis is, is playing one of these roles, and uh, I'll tell you a about what they represent in our simulation here. So this one is the client. Um, this is the router that's in your home, um, supplying you with internet access or watching YouTube or whatever. This is the gateway. This is in the data center um, and it's putting your traffic onto the internet. These are the intermediary nodes. These are carrying the traffic across the city, um, in this case, across the table. And just to be clear, these these are, we're not, our final product's not on Pi's, like I mentioned, as you can see, it's very, they, they can only handle a very low amount of traffic, but it's great for, for simulations like this. So anyway, the, the whole thing with this is, as you can see, um, this one is forwarding traffic and it's, um, it's making money uh, every, you know, with, with, with every bit of traffic it forwards. So we can also adjust the price. And I'm, I'm gonna turn the price on this one up. So this one's gonna get greedy here. I'm gonna turn the cents per gigabyte way up. So it started at 100, 270. So as you can see, Almost immediately, the packets have uh, the, the traffic has been routed over a cheaper path. So um, they're all running a routing protocol called Babel, and we've made an extension to the protocol which uh, allows it to take price into account. And so packets are going to flow over the the best and cheapest path. So Babel also routes packets around damage in the network. Um, so if you'll Watch, I'm going to just unplug this one. And now a new path has to be found. And it takes it takes a little bit uh, longer to find a new path in response to damage than it does in response to price increase. But as you can see, it's already it's picked up this router again. Um, and it's routing packets here. It's routing packets along this router now. And this one is still expensive, though. So <clears throat> these climb the gateway here are kind of getting getting ripped off right now um, because uh, they're paying a lot of money because this is the only game in town. So let's see what happens if a competitor comes in. So we're going to have maps and uh, various ways for people to visualize what the um, pricing and access and availability of Althea looks like in an area. And so this router, I just plugged it in, it's going to take a minute to boot up again. But it, it's come in and it's now, um, it's noticed that prices are high here and there's a business opportunity. So it's going to come in, it's going to start up at 100 cents per gigabyte. And as you'll see, um, as, as soon as it turns on, it's going to take the traffic from this overly expensive router uh, very, very quickly. So this one's at oops, 295 now. So yeah, sorry, <laughs> take a little while to boot these up. Um, okay, here we go. All right, and as you can see, this one, not carrying any traffic yet, but it's at 105, so as soon as it boots up, look at that. See this one? Zero kilobytes. This one? 187 kilobytes. So it's carrying a lot of traffic. It's, it's complete, the route's completely switched over now, and, um, that's how, uh, that's how we want Althea to sort of lower internet prices for people. 
by having um, a competitive marketplace everywhere where internet access is being supplied. And so right now, like it, if an ISP is slow in an area and you don't like how slow it is, you know, you can call them up, you can complain, um, but they really have to invest the money to improve their networks. And they, they may not do that. A lot of ISPs just don't do it, especially the big ones, AT&T, Comcast, they don't feel the need. They just don't have any competition. And if you don't like that as someone in that area, what you can do is you can set up your own ISP, but you then have to set up a whole network. It's basically, it needs to be your full-time job. You need to, you need to quit your, your job and start an ISP. Um, with Althea, we want to have a world where anybody can set up one piece of equipment that can be their, their you know, the maximum contribution network is one piece of equipment. And they can still compete in the marketplace. They can still earn money for doing it. There will still be larger networks, uh, people who own more equipment, people who own large radio towers or own fibers, uh, runs of fiber under the ground. That will still definitely be um, the case because there's economies of scale to think about and stuff. But Althea opens it up so that anybody can come in and they can compete to provide internet access. And we think that's going to provide more, better quality access to people in rural areas, in urban areas around the world at a better price. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.